Hey everyone, it's Anthony Gerby back with another edition of Thursday Thoughts where we've been going through the ABCs of finance. This was a book that was gifted uh, to my family on the birth of my newborn daughter. And I've been going through a letter a week and this week the letter is F for fraud. Okay, well I could go to a lot of different directions with that, but probably the most common form of fraud that any of us experience, I've experienced it myself, is credit card fraud or even bank account fraud. Thankfully, I haven't experienced that one. But I think it's important to get this out there. It's It seems to be more common knowledge these days, but it's worth remembering in terms of fraud on either a credit card or a bank account. So if somebody gets your credit card number, um, it is much less consequential usually if someone were to get access to your credit card versus your debit card, or certainly your bank account, which is what your debit card links to. Uh, for those of you who maybe have experienced this, uh, you you know exactly what I'm talking about. But what I mean is, if somebody gets a hold of your credit card, usually you're going to get a text message, an email, maybe if you have the app, a notification on your phone saying, hey, there was a charge that maybe doesn't fit what we expect you to be doing. Uh, maybe you don't get that message. Maybe you just look at your statement every month and say, "Ooh, I don't remember those charges. You know, the, the, that doesn't make sense. Those charges were in Ohio. I live in Minnesota, whatever. You call the credit card company or these days you click a button on the app, wiped away, no problem, no harm, no foul. Credit card's got a credit card company's got a new card in the mail for you. Easy. If someone were to get a hold of your debit card information or God forbid your actual bank account details, I'm not saying it can't be cleaned up, but it is much more difficult for you to clean that up. And it's not going to be as simple as just calling the bank and the bank saying, well, okay, we'll wipe that away and you're good to go. Because what they got access to was not a credit card company's money. What they got access to was your money in your bank account. Where's the take home point from this? Well, I'm not saying you should be using a credit card for everything that you're doing. Certainly, there are reasons to set up direct deposit bank accounts, use debit cards, all the way down the line. However, in online transactions, for example, as one example, I much prefer to use credit cards, partially for the simplicity, partially for the rewards, but also for the off chance that fraud were to occur. Someone were to steal my number. Because if that happens, I know a credit card company is going to be a heck of a lot easier to deal with than my bank or realistically any bank. So I recommend you take a look at your spending habits and everybody's got this risk. There's no way to get rid of it completely. But using a credit card and then maybe paying the balance off every month out of your bank account might be in a safer alternative, a way to avoid some fraud as we go on and live our lives. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and I will see you next week for Letter G.